What's up guys? In today's video I just wanted to go over this quick Luma Fape transition tutorial and it works pretty well in Premiere so without further ado let's get into it. Subscribe if you're new, like this video if you liked it, dislike it if you don't, and let's get into it. into Premiere now we're gonna import our footage and I just got a I just got some footage from video blocks and put it in and it got another clip from Oahu earlier this year and we're gonna get right into it create a new sequence 1080p 23.976 then we're gonna drag these two clips in here let's find a nice starting point all right so we found the starting point for our clip now let's Let's find an end point where the transition is going to end. Right about there seems good. Let's make that out point. Drag our clip into the timeline and then let's get started on our second clip. Drag that into the timeline. Okay, everything looks good. Maybe make that a little longer. All right, let's get started with the transition. And right here, see I'm matching the corners with these two clips right here. So it kind of gives it this kind of um, fade in effect on the left side. You guys see, you guys will see that in a sec. I'll, um, I'll explain that later. All right, so we're gonna type in Luma key in our effects tab and drag that into the second part of our clip right there. And as you can see, it kind of already activated the threshold at 100%. So what we're gonna do is go to the first frame of this clip and we're gonna drag that down to zero. And now we're gonna make two keyframes. Just click the stopwatches on both cutoff and threshold and we'll find a good place. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna increase it gradually throughout our clip. So I'm making keyframes as I go and it's gonna make the effect look a little more dramatic and a little more just cinematic. And as you can see, the background's already kind of taking place as you can see those mountains in the background. And I'm just gonna play around with it just a little bit to make it look a little more professional. And I really like this fade out effect where the color kind of goes into the alpha channel and then it kind of fades out, which is really cool. Just gonna render that real quick before we do our color grade. And the color grade's really important because it really helps bring the footage together and make it a little more cinematic, which really helps the footage. Yeah, looks good. Now what we're gonna do is press the little page icon, adjustment layer, create that new adjustment layer, drag it over our timeline, and stretch it out for the whole clip. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go over to the color tab, and go to Lumetri color, and pick one of these LUTs. Uh, I have a cinema LUT that looks really good. I'll have it for download right below. Um, and I'm gonna sharpen that up by 30, just so we get that little punch of sharpness looks great and then I'm gonna mess around with the intensity a little bit just to make sure I'm not overdoing the color grade. I'm gonna bring up the exposure, lower the contrast and bring up the highlights so we have a little more seamless transition. Looks great, all right. Yeah, that looks pretty sick. Kinda stoked about that. I'm gonna have to put that in a little edit. Checking it out in full screen now. I don't really like this, um, how it kind of comes in, but if I was, if I was actually working on like a client's project or something about that, I'd definitely take some time and kind of flatten that out. But based on your footage, it should be pretty easy. All right, let's see the look at our final product. Looks pretty good.
Hey okay, guys, thanks for watching. If you like the video, make sure you like it. And while you're down there, if you aren't subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And see you guys in the next video. Peace.